Hey guys, so I discovered why my G Pulcra wasn't uh, eating very well, and um, she hasn't been in the latest uh, theme videos. Well, I've come to the conclusion, and she was in pre-molt, and now she's on her back preparing for a molt. Awesome. So, this is a fully grown adult female. She's probably around 9 years old. She's on her back, just like last year or two years ago when she previously molted. She's molting in her cave. And you know I fear for her because she doesn't have any room, but I guess a spider has to molt and that's where she's got to lay. So let's examine her fangs. You can see how large they are. This is why I really don't recommend um, handling um, Gramasola pulchra because of their fangs and they can cause some mechanical damage if you ever get bitten by one. So I guess I'm going to document her molt right now. It's 8.04 p.m. Yeah, it's night here. And awesome black. Okay, so right now it's 1.05 a.m. And you can see the chlorocelari starting to emerge. Wow, check out those fangs, guys. Huge. So since this is an adult, I'm assuming it'll take hmm, three, four hours. Yeah, that seems about right. So I'll check up you the next update in about an hour from now. Alright, so now it's 8.48 a.m. And she's just freshly molted. And there is the molt. She looks pretty. Alright, so let's go pull up the molt. Oh yeah, she's nice. God, it's huge. Okay, and we got the carapace. Uh oh, she has a mold stuck in her. We got a flashlight. Yeah, here she is, adult female. Wow, velvet black. And she's got a little piece of mold stuck in her abdomen. But I guess I'll leave her to do that. Oh, she's pretty good looking. Seven inch female. So let's go examine the mold. And here's the mold. Jesus. It's huge. It's like six and a half inches. So let's do the underside. Flip it. You can check out those large fangs. Wow. I'm getting, starting to get itchy now. So the hairs are um, pretty itchy. So, show you the abdomen. The most accurate way to sex a tarantula is by its molt. And I'll show you how to sex a molted skin. So, this is the abdomen right here. You can see those little um, white stuff are the book lungs. You get one and two. And see um, this slit where the tongs are pointing to right about there. Uh, this is your spermatheci, your sperm sac, or your furrow. If your tarantula smolt contains that little furrow there, that's an indication that it's a female. And usually you can sex your spiders with the um, ventral shot. I would say it's probably about 80 to 85 percent accurate by sexing that way, but the molts really give it away. So guys, hope you enjoy that video. Sweet.
I noticed that I have a cricket in my Jeep Polka tank, so I removed it, and we're going to feed it to my Pocothera Miranda, the Bengal Spotted Ornamental. This is the female. Just like that. And that's what a pokey looks like, the Miranda. Bengal Spotted Ornamental. looks mean. Check out those eyes. Gee, those car paste patterns really make it look really aggressive looking. Pokies. Gotta love them. Oh, well, we can see those fangs. I would hate to get bitten by that one. Awesome.